This lesson series, we're learning how to play these nice chord embellishments, fill riffs, uh, lead guitar techniques, all sorts of awesome stuff like that. We're learning the scales and focusing on the note combinations that'll make your playing sound the most country and bluegrass. I know some people are kind of scared of learning the scales. They don't really think they need to learn them because they, they just want to learn songs and all that stuff. But scales are actually really important because you can use these scales, especially the ones we're covering in this early section of the series, to add all sorts of awesome uh, chord embellishments to your rhythm guitar. So if you understand what notes go into these scales, especially all these scales we're talking about, these uh, country sounding combinations, um, really, good, really good thing to know for rhythm and lead. So that's what we're doing hear more of in this lesson series. We've already covered a few different scales. If you've missed the earlier videos in the series, go check those out first. But we're gonna keep moving on in this lesson here. Adding on some new stuff. We are gonna focus on the blues scales today. And the blues scales, I can't stress enough how important the blues scales are for country and bluegrass. And if you're not familiar with the blues scale, very simple stuff. It's basically, you know, last lesson we learned the pentatonic scale. We learned the fifth position. Uh, right, this one right here. The, the minor pentatonic scale is the one we focused on last lesson. Sounds just like that. The blue scale is the exact same scale as the minor pentatonic scale, except you just add in a couple notes. And it's a, just a couple notes extra per position, but since we're, we're focusing on this fifth position, right here, down near the nut, so we can use all the open strings for these chord embellishments, um, we're just adding in two notes today, and that's it, these blues notes, they're called blues notes. Not gonna get into all the music theory, but um, we'll, we'll cover that maybe some other time. But when you start adding in these blues notes, your country bluegrass stuff really starts to sound awesome get that sound. So let's go over the extra blues notes and then I'll show you all like four or five, maybe six different riffs that are uh, built around this blues scale. Okay, so looking at this scale here, this is what we started with, all the notes in black there. That's the minor pentatonic scale notes. We learned that last lesson. So now, see the notes in blue? That's all we're adding in today. It's the blues notes, and this is what it's gonna sound like. That's playing up to scale, then you play back down. And I always like to resolve on G, or since we're in the key of G for this, this uh, early part of the series, um, I always like to resolve back up to that, that root note. And when I say resolve, um, you see how I played down the scale there? We played all the way down to that F, but I like to resolve it back up to that G. So resolving is basically when you play a note that gets you back to what your ear expects to hear. Since we're in the key of G, there's the G chord, resolves it. So anyways, that's the blues scale. Sounds very good for country bluegrass. There's one of the first notes, the extra notes we're adding in. That's the C sharp right there. A lot of times I like to slide up with my left hand. I just think it sounds real cool for that country bluegrass. literally straight up the blue scale. Sounds awesome though. There's the other blues note. Right there. Um, I guess second string, second fret. That's, that's it. Those are the only two notes we're adding in today. But I honestly think that this note right here, second fret, second string, I think that is one of the most important notes in country and bluegrass. 
just because you can play all these cool licks. You can hear it in all those type of licks. That's the blues note. There's the other one. So, same exact note, they're just an octave apart. Um, practice the scale like we've been practicing study it get used to um, to playing it maybe try playing it up the scale and use your pinky there sometimes you know when you play up to that that first blues note and then sometimes practice that slide you can do a hammer on right at the very beginning from the F to that G right there pointer to your ring finger I think it sounds good hammer pick pick slide hammer pick pick slide but once you get your speed up it sounds pretty cool there's that other blues note just really awesome sound A lot of people will ask me what that riff is, and that's the blues note, basically. You're pulling off, let's break it down a little simpler, um, and I know I'm kind of just rambling on about a bunch of random stuff going at fast pace, but hopefully y'all can put some of this to use. These are, this is one of my favorite licks here. Um, so let's break it down, very simple. Just one note, and then we'll add in that double stop here in a second. But you've got your your uh, middle, left middle finger on that second string, second fret, and just pull off to the first fret. Oops. And then third string, and back to the second string. Pull off third string, third fret. Back to the pointer. And you can just go straight down that blues scale after that. Dun, dun. So back to the beginning of that lick, when you add in the double stop, and the double stop's just two notes at the same time. So all I got to start that riff, I've got my left pinky on the high E string on the third fret, and then you do the rest of that lick just like we played it, you know, that part. But add in the double stop, and let that pinky ring out, that high that uh, G note right there, let that ring out. Sounds pretty cool. And I catch, when I play this riff, I catch the uh, second string with my, my pick, picking one down pick, and, but at the same time, I'm catching the high E string with my right middle, just like that. And you just do that pull on, and I play the rest of the riff with my pick. That's just some ideas right there. Practice that blues scale, and you can build it into these rhythm um, progressions, these GCD chord progressions, just like we've been practicing, where you play the first two beats, the rhythm with that boom chick rhythm. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the previous videos in this series. I explain all of that. But play the first two beats, the rhythm, one E and a, two E and a, and then for the three E and a, four E and a, you can do the blue scale. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And just keep, 
keep practicing um, working back and forth between the riffs and the rhythm because that's that's one of those tough things to do. And I remember, you know, thinking back to when I first started playing guitar and all that stuff. I, that's one of the things that I really wanted to do was play the rhythm guitar, but then throw in some of those licks and those nice sounding riffs, but then be able to jump straight back into the rhythm without losing my tempo and stay right on time. So uh, hopefully this will help you all practice that. That's it as far as all the main teaching goes, but let's zoom in here and I'm going to show you all how to play these cool riffs that I've got a PDF download for right below this video here at Country Guitar Online. Uh, just click the download button and I, th I think there are six riffs that we got that we're going to go over here. So let's zoom in and let's go over those real quick. Pretty. 